Hello friends this is Web's lesson tutorial and here we are going to learn how can we have make chart by using Google chart library by using Ajax with PHP. That means this video on how can we have Ajax with PHP to load dynamic data from MYSQL table and make chat by using Google chart library without refresh of web page. We all know chart is a visual representation of data on web, based on chart user can understand what things are going and he can analyze data based on chart. So, here we have make this video tutorial, we have already published many video tutorial on Google chart and in that tutorial we have used simple PHP for load data into Google chart. But here we have use Ajax with PHP for make chart using Google chart library and using event chart data will be changed without refresh of web page. Now let's start discussing this tutorial. This is our testing data and in this we have one chart data table with four table column like ID, year, month, and profit data. In this table we have already inserted last three year profit data with month wise, so we will fetch data using Ajax with PHP and by using Google chart library we will display into column chart. Now we have go to index page, here we have already imported bootstrap style sheet library and jQuery library. Here we have also imported Google Chart Library API link also, by using this link we can use Google Chart Library into this page and we will make chart on this page using this library. First we want to fetch unique year data from MYSQL table. So first we want to make database connection so in database connection.php we have write dollar connect variable is equal to nuke class. With three argument like mysql host set to local host, database name set to testing, username set to root and password set to blank. After making database connection we have go to index page and here we have write include statement with database connection.php file, it will make database connection on this page. After making database connection we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from chart table group by year in descending order. This query will return unique year from table. Below this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. For query execution we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, it will execute query. After query execution we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method, this method will fetch data from query execution and store into dollar result variable. Now we have moved to HTML code part and here we have we have use bootstrap panel for display chart on web page. So here we have make one select tag with make and ID is equal to year. Under this here we have write for each loop with dollar result variable as dollar row variable, by using loop we can fetch data from dollar result variable.
Under this loop we have write echo statement with option tag with value is equal to dollar $row year variable and in option text also we have write dollar $row year variable. This code will fill select box with year. Here friends we have seen blank panel with select box with option to select year. So when we have select particular year from this list then that year data will be loaded into column chart using Ajax with PHP. Now on index page here we have define one division tag with ID attribute is equal to chart area. We will create chart under this tag using Google chart library API. Now we have moved to write JavaScript code and here we have write google.charts.load method with two argument like current and packages like core chart and bar in array. This google.chart.load method will load Google chart packages. Below this we have write google.charts.set on load callback method, this callback method has been called once Google Visualization API has been loaded. Now we have make one function with name like load month wise data with two argument like year and title, this function function will send Ajax request for fetch data from MYSQL table. Under this function we have write temp title variable is equal to title variable and under here we have append year variable value, it will make dynamic title for each year. Now we have start write ajax request and under this we have write url option set to fetch.php, here we have send request to this page. In second option we have write method is equal to post, here we have use post method. In third option we have write data option and under this we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have define year variable. In fourth option we have write data type option. In this option we can define data type in which we want to receive data from server, so here we have write JSO and data type. Lastly we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully and it will receive data from server which we can access from this data argument. Now we have moved to write PHP code in fetch.php page, so here first we have write include statement with database connection.php page, it will make database connection on this page. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post year variable. This condition will check if this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar $query variable is equal to select star from chart data table where year is equal to dollar dollar post year variable order by id in ascending order. This query will fetch particular year data. Below this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. After this we want to execute query so we have write dollar statement variable with execute, it will execute query. Now we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method. This method will fetch data from query execution and store into dollar result variable. 
After this we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar $result variable as dollar $row variable, by using this we can fetch data from dollar $result variable. Under this loop we have write dollar $output variable is equal to array with key month value get from dollar $row month variable and profit key value get from dollar $row profit variable. Here we have store particular year data into dollar $output variable, now we want to send this data to Ajax request in JSON format. Now we have go to index.php page and here we have make one another function with name like draw month wise chat with two argument like chart data and chart title. This function will make dynamic chart based on value of this chart data argument, so under this function we have write json data variable is equal to chart data variable. Here we have store chart data argument variable value into this json data variable. After this we have write data variable is equal to new google.visualization.data table method, this method will create data table for chart. Below this we have write data.add column method with two argument like data type string and title month, here we have add one column into data table. Same way we have write data dot add column method with two argument like data type number and title profit, here we have add another column into our data table. Now we have write dollar dot each method and under this we have write json data variable and callback function with two argument like i and json data variable. By using this each method we can fetch data from this json data variable. Under this function we have write month variable is equal to json data dot month key, here we have fetch data month key column data from json data variable and store under month variable. Below this we have write profit variable is equal json data variable dot profit, here we have fetch data from profit key column data from json data variable and store under profit variable. Now we have write data dot add rows method with two column data get from month variable and profit variable, so here we have create new rows in data table. So on every interval it will create new row and store under data table. After this we have write options variable is equal to title option set to chart main title, it will display this variable value as chart title. Now we have write chart variable is equal to new google.visualization.column chart method and under this method we have write html element id in which we want create chart. This method will instantiate column chart library on web page. For draw chart on web page we have write chart.draw method with two argument like data and options, this code will draw chart on web page. So here our function is ready for make column chart, we have go to ajax success callback function and here we have called this draw month wise chart function with two argument like data which we have received from server and temp title variable, so here when load month wise data function then it will fetch particular year data. 
and after this it will call draw month wise chart function and pass data and make chart on web page without refresh of web page. For called load month wise data function here we have write dollar with select box id year with change method, so when we have select option from select box then this block of code will called. Under this function we have write year variable is equal to dollar this with value method, this code will fetch value of selected option and store under year variable. Below this we have write if statement and under condition we have write year variable value is not equal to blank, if this condition true then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we called load month wise data function with two argument like year variable and in second argument we have write month wise profit data for. So when we have select year from select box then it will called load month wise data function and it will fetch particular year data and then after it has called draw month wise chart function and convert data into chart and display on web page without refresh of web page. Friends here first we have refresh web page and after this on web page we can see blank panel with select box for select year on web page. Now we want to see year 2018 profit data on web page in column chart format, so here we have select year 2018. After selecting year we can see year 2018 profit data has been converted into column chart which we can see on web page and it has load data into chart without refresh of web page. Same way we want to see year 2017 data on web page, so we have select year 2017 from select box and after selecting year we can see year 2017 data on web page in column chart format. So this way we can use Ajax PHP with Google chart library API and make dynamic column chart without refresh of web page. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, Please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.